Hello friends, welcome to Physics Physics. If you are new to this channel, subscribe, like and share. Today we are going to see different levels of gravity. Level 1 Apple on the head People must have told you that gravity was discovered because apple fell on Newton's head. So was gravity discovered because of an apple? No, you stupid. Actually, apple is scared of gravity. It was discovered by Newton. So what can we say about Newton? Newton was a really smart cookie. <laughs> Level 2 Gravity is attraction. Gravity is an attractive force, a force of attraction that exists between any two masses, any two bodies, and any two particles. Is gravity a reason why you have a crush on your crush? Now, Tom, you're not getting that. She is just not attracted to you. But gravity is level three. The drop test. In three, two, one. Oh, what a shame. But did you know that things fall at the same speed in vacuum? Like this experiment will ball and feather fall at the same speed in a vacuum. Level four. The floating test. If there was no gravity, you'll be floating into space. Just like the movie Gravity. Won't it be fun? Earth's gravity is perfect enough to keep us grounded. But if you were on moon, where the gravity is one-sixth of the Earth. Watch your footsteps. Level 5. The Universal Law. Newton said that. The force of attraction between any two bodies is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Doing. And here we are introduced with a G. Now there are two types of G in the world. 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Capital G and small g. The value of G, capital G is constant throughout the universe. But the small g is acceleration due to gravity. It varies from planet to planet and place to place. Aren't you going to talk about relativity? I think it's the right time to... Level 6 Wrap up! Consider space to be made up of fabric of space and time. If there are no stars, the fabric is straight. But if there are stars and planets, the fabric curves down. As you can see, the celestial object is moving. It wraps up the space and time around it. One more example is of an active black hole. If any star comes near that active black hole, it gets wrapped up under the black hole's gravitational field. More about black hole later on. Level 7 Gravitational waves When two heavy stars come close to each other, they perform the dance of that. Both these stars rip off materials from each other as they are under the influence of gravitational force of each other. They collide and become one. And when such a thing happens, it creates ripples and disturbance in the space-time fabric. These ripples or disturbance are the gravitational waves that we detect. Level 8. Graviton. You have heard about gravitational waves. But have you ever heard about the gravity particle? Graviton, a model of elementary particles, predicts the existence of graviton. But it has not been detected yet. And some believe the gravity particle doesn't exist at all. But is there in the theory? Only experiment will decide the fate of graviton. Level 9 Finally, Relativity, Special Relativity and General Relativity. To study relativity, you need to know your relatives. I'm just kidding. Uh, you need to know your frame of references. So there are two relativities. The first kind is the special relativity. 
To study special relativity, you need to know your frame of references and you need to know the postulate. The first postulate says that the laws of physics are same everywhere throughout the universe in every initial frame of reference. Second one is the speed of light does not change pay. No matter what happens, the speed of light, the value of it will remain the same. Mm -hmm. And due to special relativity, we have things like time dilation, length contraction, mass dilation. Do you remember the movie Interstellar? Remember the scene? It's because of special relativity. The second kind of relativity is general relativity. General relativity is describing gravity in the classical mechanics perspective. In general relativity, we uh, have the equivalence principle which states that observers cannot distinguish locally between initial forces due to acceleration and uniform, uh, uniform gravitational forces due to presence of massive bodies. Ooh, here you are talking about, you know, just one single frame of references in most of the cases and it is an accelerated one. And due to general relativity, we have this famous equation where, you know, the gravity will tell the space time to how to curve and this a uh, and this tensor will tell matter how to move so what's the basic difference between special and general relativity special relativity deals with initial and non accelerating frame of references whereas general relativity deals with accelerating frame of references and there are you know many other differences you know if i were to make a uh, video on relativity it will take me other uh, another whole 10 minutes level 10 quantum gravity say what is a field of theoretical physics that seeks to describe gravity according to the principle of quantum mechanics where quantum effects cannot be ignored like you have a very strong object which has a very strong field gravitational field like black hole and you cannot if, uh, ignore the quantum effects over there you need to take into consideration all the quantum mechanics and the quantum physics that is happening over there now you will ask me what is quantum physics children i will need another whole 10 minutes video for it but in a nutshell quantum mechanics or quantum physics is a branch of physics where the laws of physics or the laws of quantum mechanics are applied to very very small particles like the atom or the nucleus or the subatomic particles so this is the problem very famous problem in physics where we need where we need to connect general relativity with quantum physics answer theory was string theory the other one was quantum field theory and there are many other theories that are there so in string theory you consider these subatomic particles like the quarks which are there inside the nucleus of the atoms to be made up of fields and these fields are nothing but vibrations so they vibrate and there are different kinds of strings that are formed and this is what string theory looks like i mean it's a lot of math and a lot of difficult concepts and you know it's difficult i mean uh, Lots of boring math later. Uh, but but it did not provide the complete solution to all the problems, and it's an incomplete one. Inside string theory, you have M theory, and you have different parts where you know you try to connect quantum gravity with you know Newtonian gravity, but you know people have discarded it because it cannot explain all the phenomena properly. Mazaya. And may you just hai Hindustan ke vyakti ko dena chata. So that's all folks. We just tried to explain about gravity in a nutshell. Of course, there are so many things to it and I, I and I had tried to keep it as simple as possible. One of the biggest problems is to connect quantum mechanics with gravity. So something like quantum gravity could come up and there are a lot of new research work going on and you know it can be out pretty soon. So all the best, my nerdy fellows. I'll see you next time. I'll release one more another pro video like this. If you if you're new to this channel, hit like, share and subscribe. See ya signing off.